votes. And I believe that. More than anything, your government, your city council, your elected leaders should be studying these issues, working hard, and coming up with creative, innovative ideas to deal with the problems that have faced our community for decades. Declining jobs, declining populations. We were once a city of 2.5 million people where you could just get a high school degree and get a job, and that job would allow you to get married, to buy a home, and get a car. But that's not true today. And we are struggling to find our place in the world to, to allow people to have hope for the future in a realistic sense. That is why I believe it's very important for us to develop our economic engines. One that I campaign on heavily, and I did this four years ago when I ran, is our river, our port. To dredge our river, to allow shipping to come in, to invest in our port infrastructure, that conservatively, that would create 20,000 jobs. 20,000 jobs to begin with is a billion dollars a year in salaries and health care, primarily for people who do not have a college degree. That's a tremendous amount of impact for our community. And we don't have that much time because we've sent a message to the world that we're going to put slot machines right where our rail lines are, right where our shipping is going to be, and we have to reverse that and let the world know that Philadelphia is open as a port city. We have other opportunities. We have a knowledge-based industry that needs to be developed. We have tourism and history. But we have to look at two things, raising our revenues and moving our population back up to 2.5 million people. That way we will be a booming city and the things that you envision for yourselves and your family and your community can really come to pass. I would ask you when you consider who to elect and re-elect that you think about who's qualified, who has the life's experience and who shares your values. But most important of all, who is not following behind what they think people want, but who is leading forward with ideas that you don't have time to think about because you're busy working and taking care of your own life. You need people who are out there in front, not afraid to present ideas, not afraid to seek your vote, your support, so they can move our community forward. And we have enough of these people together, we will really be the city of the next generation. Thank you very much.